All right, I just want to get a reflection on that game. I mean, obviously, 16 0 at half time, you were still in it, and things got worse. Yeah, second half. I think we're just disappointed overall that we didn't give a true reflection of our, our capabilities. Um, like you mentioned, 16 0 at half time, we still felt fairly confident that we could go on and and, and knit, knit the wind at the end of the game. Um, we knew that Leeds would come out firing. And, but um, I think we were we were probably closer to the 16 than the closer to him than the 16 they suggested. And I think it was just disappointing. Uh, just the amount of ball we kept turning over to him, and you can't ask your defence to keep doing that. What, what, what do you put it down to? Because it just seemed like um, you know, yeah, there was just the mistakes racked up, and uh, was, Leeds just really were clinical. Yeah, I think probably just people trying too hard, probably, and uh, you can't knock anyone's effort. Everyone, everyone out there has given them everything they can, and. Uh, I think I spoke about it before the game, which probably lack, lacked a little bit of composure, and, and that showed, and that's probably what they've got abundance of in their team, and, and showed the real quality today. Did you talk to the boys after, obviously, as, as skipper? Um, yeah, did you have a, a message for the team? Because obviously, you've got the Super 8s now to, to focus on. Yeah, we just mentioned that, um, obviously, use it as a as motivation. Obviously, it, every team wants to come to cup finals. And, but if you, you think this will be the last one that you're going to get to, it probably will be. And we need to start looking forward. Obviously, we can mention we've got the Super 8s. We've we got a big game against Wakey this week, and we can get a win there. We're pretty much on the verge of securing that um, with a few games to go. So we need to brush ourselves down and look at what we did well and what we did wrong and, and just give it a good crack this weekend and um, obviously get that survival secure. Just on Kieran Dixon, I mean, it was a tough, tough day for him. How's, how's he at the moment? Yeah, Kieran, obviously, he's a quality player and he's, he's had a few errors there. He's probably a bit, a bit disappointed and I think he doesn't need telling that, obviously, he's made them errors that he's probably his own biggest critic. And um, But that, I think his position, too, it highlights, if you like a goalkeeper in football, if you have a, a mistake, you're on your own out of the back there. So it's a... I mean, I wouldn't like to play there, and I think anyone who, who questions him, um, if they put themselves in that position, I'm sure it, um, they wouldn't enjoy it too. So, yeah, yeah, I think obviously he'll be a bit disappointed, but he's a fantastic player, and we're all there to support him, and I'm pretty sure he'll turn around.